another classic from Bally. the one they wanted to kill was Miss Carrington. Well, never mind who they were after. Who done it? The murderer. Didn't know he'd killed the wrong girl. When he found out, he was panicky and hid the body. You see, Doctor, I did not have hallucinations. Very interesting. Say, so what are you watching that fireplace for? Who do you expect, Santa Claus? Come on, who done it? The housekeeper knew. She knew too much, but she wasn't the one. When she was about to confess, she disappeared from this very chair. And the person who caused her disappearance was standing right beside this fireplace when it happened. What do you say, Doc? He's looking right straight at you. The man's mad. I was nowhere near the fireplace when it happened. I was over there. Rama. You were standing here by the fireplace. You're mistaken, Dr. Jerris. I was standing by the library door. Now, oh, wait a minute. Who was standing by the fireplace when the housekeeper disappeared? Well, who done it, huh? I guess you're going to have to watch the movie to figure that out. That's from an old 1940 Topper Returns murder mystery, comedy action, invisible ghosts and stuff. Great movie. And I figured it was the perfect lead into this terrific looking game. Who done it? A murder mystery. It's sort of like Clue. The distributor joke, of course, was when it came out is who played it or who wants it. Oh, could be why they made so few of them. Yes, it was returned. Back then, if you had a game, you put it in location and it wasn't making big money the first or second week. Back it went. So. Unfortunately, this did not last as a popular game in the arcades because it's actually so complicated. Look, look, pages, pages of instructions on how to play it. The game is fascinating because you ride elevators up and down through these ramps to get clues to figure out who done it. You know what, let's go back now to what it looked like before we started working on it. Oh boy, the Doctor Who is coming along, isn't it, Stephen? Doctor Who? Done it? We're already done that game. <laughs> this happens to be Who Done It? It has Who in it. It has Who in it. Wait a minute. It does have Who in it. Uh oh, Stephen is. <sighs> Some people are just too stupid to live. If he doesn't have it written down, he doesn't know it. <laughs> but look, look at this. This treasure, all the ramps and thrills and... Uh, oh, there, there are the ramps and thrills, right over there. Mm -hmm. it, it definitely is not one of the dirtiest, though. Th this not is actually not horrible. Not but good uh, It's not good either, that's right. But this happens to be the last one that we have. Yes, this is it. The last one. Looks different, doesn't it? <laughs> that was quite a neat behind the scenes uh, shot. A lot of disassembly involved, but our boys have done a beautiful job repainting the cabinet. I think if you remember in the video, these were all worn off. Not anymore. Not anymore. Uh, Tony is filming now. And uh, Frank's, Frank took the day off, that creep. Day off for me. But you know what? This game has some really unique updates. I'm going to show you one now. We decided it was too dark up here, so Jason added some lights. Okay, so this is how you did it. From the back. I heard that! It's all tied into the general illumination circuit. And these lights here were added. And yes, there's the end results, right there. Isn't that nice how that glows? And look at this. We added these to make it look like an old fashioned sign. These are the what we call the bendies. Tony's palace is now lit up. 
That's pretty sharp, isn't it? It was always dark up there. I never figured out why, but not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> uh, well, rules in the game are complicated, but this game has developed a really big following because there's so many things to do. If you want to solve the murder, you can. You don't have to. You can play roulette, or you can go up and down the elevator and click big points. Down here, see this? This is our, this is our little monster down there. Oh boy, is that a monster? That is the slot machine. It's quite a contraption. Quite a contraption. Aha! Uh -huh. Actually, Tony, let's cut away now, and we'll show you what. People love it when I do that. Get your balls sticking out. <laughs> Listen, you know what? I can do anything I want because I own the place. Anyway, let's cut away now <laughs> and show you working on the wheels. And I got some neat tips for you. Look at this. It's absolutely a mess. It's a nightmare. Everything is ice cold on that. No one's ever re reflowed any of these connectors or optics. But this is the slot wheel system. Very elaborate thing and actually very delicate and very dirty. After you take the wheel off and this whole bracket out, you've got to make one small flat space on here so the wheel will grip it better. You got it, Kurt. Safety first. Always a TNT. <laughs> This is because this delicate plastic piece may shatter if you tighten it too much and it may slip. But this little notch that we just made will ensure this will make a good tight fit and it won't damage this wheel until somebody is able to reproduce them. Also, when you put the wheels back together, you got to get the right order. Do you see that little mark right there? 2A, 3A, and then there's a 1A. You got to get it in the right order. 3, the center one's 1, and the right side's 2. If you don't, it won't stop on the right spot. Now, it is in the book, but it doesn't explain that very well. It Just does say 3A, here. 1A, 2A, 3A is left. 1A is center, 2A is right. Right. So, but some people I get really it all screwed. And you know what? If you got this fouled up, Kurt, the, you know what? There'd be a lot of splaining to do. You'll have it's lots of splaining to do. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. No fun. <laughs> it's not right. Okay. And now. Pretty nice, huh? Also pretty nice when all the bolts come back. People love it when I drop all the way. Yeah. Who is making noise now? Whatever the heck I want, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. Oh, no, but, 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 but. You can't do that. And look who's back. Look who's back. Chris is back. His wife's going to have a baby. How soon? A month. In a month. Not bad, huh? Made in China. <laughs> the heart of red China. Uh, get back to work. Anyway. <laughs> oh, see. see he's working on the right. Nope, no time for home. We got all these games and people are screaming. Screaming. And, you, and on a full work day, which is a Saturday, there's Tony's holding the camera. Chris is over there. Steve's there. Me. Where is everybody else? And you. Full time? Well, um, who's not here? Well, Kurt? should we go over the list? Well, I think here's where Kurt is. Yes, that's where he is. It's safe in bed. Uh, Frank is playing with his toddler. Is that uh, a big oh, yeah. nowadays? <laughs> Frank's allowed to do whatever he wants, apparently. Chris mm -hmm. is home mm -hmm. where it's safe. Uh, my wife, my beautiful wife, is at home. 
She's probably in the basement playing pitball. We have games in our, in our basement. He's talking back. He's talking back. We're talking about how beautiful a job Jason did with this machine. We talked about your upper lights and such, and uh, the terrific play this has. But you know, I'm going to need my coffee before we continue. Well, Frank, uh, you cover everything? Oh, wait a minute. Before we play a game, I must show you something. Let me, let me put my coffee cup down here. Okay. This was sent in by Richard Dawson of Southampton, England. And he says, Southampton, England, see? There's a Southampton PA in the United States, Southampton, England. Dork! Southampton, England is the original one. I'll have you know, young man, the people prize me so much that I am now featured in the back glass. Hey, look at this, guys. There's a picture of Todd as a private dick. <gasps> Boys, do you think I'd make a good dick? You know I'm going to have to bloop that out. Huh? Just leave it in. Oh, look, look, look. You can see we're already getting ready. We give spare bulbs and fuses. We have the bolts because we're shipping this. This is the last game going to Florida. We're getting ready to finish the uh, key parts of this, this wonderful machine. Oh, I, did we ever, we didn't show the back glass? We didn't show what we did back here yet, did we, Frank? Gosh, did we? I don't remember. Do it again. I don't think we did. Anyway, beautiful LEDs, of course. These are the super bright ones now we're using. And we have uh, the super bright flashlights. Come on, hurry up and open up front and put suntan lotion on. <sighs> anyway, battery is off, uh, off the play field here, as you can see. You can't see down here is we have our chip socket. Our switch line chip is in the socket, so if our customer has a problem down the road, he will not need to return the board to us to change the chip. It's a great idea to do that. Also, we changed the capacitor here. We pointed that out to you. That's a very important capacitor in a 12-volt circuit that you put a brand new one in, where you were destined for trouble. And of course, we have new bridges. These are, have the long leads on them. So we have them soldered on the edge of the board so they're as far off of the board as possible. So this way, as much air can get around and keep it cool. New capacitors in the high voltage circuit, of course, and we reheated all the connections in that. Plus, we put a brand new dot matrix display. Brand new. Anyway, a beautiful machine. I showed you earlier. <laughs> You have to knock while I'm filming, young men and women. No, no, there's no women here. Other than you. <sighs> no, no, there was a knocking going. See, look, new side art. He's getting ready to lay the brand new side art on it. And Mr. Knocker here is getting a big strike ready. Wallace is lazy and sitting around again as usual. <sighs> okay. Well, he's he's over. Right there. there you go. Knock away. Oh. <laughs> See, they're knocking. I mentioned earlier, do you know they actually have laid this out where they actually have details about the characters? The story background starts in 1900 when Walter, a young wealthy playboy, and Mia, the wife of the English ambassador, have a fling. It actually is a storyline on this game as you try to uncover who killed the people, which which varies, Doctor Who. So read the story. Never, they're do still your never going to. You get your quarters ready. They're still never going to get that story right. And as I said before, you do not have to solve the murders. You can you can just do the slot uh, machine uh, and the roulette wheel. You can also ride the elevator up and down to get big points. The elevator is this contraption. One goes up, one goes down, and the other takes you off the elevator. Beautiful concept, I'll tell you. We realized we had to raise it up so we'd get good gameplay. So now we're ready to start. Okay, here we go. Let's give it a start. You can choose either level, which is a great idea. They did that earlier. You get an automatic uh, ball play, guaranteed ball play. But I'm so good, I don't need to. 
Anyway, oh, somebody's been murdered. Victoria is dead. Remember I mentioned her earlier? Now you gotta figure out who it is by collecting clues. Here's our wheel. So it shows you here what you scored. Now, this game has an override. If your slot machine is not working, you can tell the game the slot machine is not working and it won't sit there and spin endlessly. The wheels will just stay where they are and the wheels will work up here and the game will work around. Very clever. The game's trying to figure out why I'm not playing it. Look at these terrific shots where you can roll through. Oh, the foot, look. There's a clue. Clue. See the question mark? Tell me more about Butler. Victoria treated Butler like she treated everyone, like dirt. Sounds like my wife. Sounds like you. So you do the taxi chase. See, so you follow the line. See the T for taxi? I got the T that on taxi, now I got the A. Really clever stuff. Okay, now, we go down here. There goes our elevator. We went down a floor, okay? Now, there's a taxi chase. Let's try that. There we go. We got it. All these clues you pick up as you go. And then you follow, once again, the flashing lights. So let's go in here and get Tell another clue. more about Butler. Victoria always treated Butler like dirt. Well, we knew that. But let's, let's see if we can pick it out. No, we don't. I don't think it's Tony. So let's go with Butler. Are we right? I'm pretty great. That was a guess. All right, now I got to go to the roof. Now that I picked the right, and I have to shoot the flashing lane to catch the killer. Do you see what's flashing? Just that one. Let's catch him. Okay, now I have to shoot the phone. See, look, shoot the phone. Only so many seconds left. I'm on the roof. Caught him. Nice shot. I'm a pretty good guy. I'm pretty good, huh? Am I? Am I pretty good? I can play great with the glass off. Now listen, normally that does not happen unless you're a really good player. Some of, a lot of our viewers are exceptionally good players. I can really, really do this well. See, once again, you can ride the elevator. What? Go online. Somebody come quick! The Pimble Archive has this rule sheet. Read about this game and see just how terrific it is. Look at this. Pages of stuff. There's even something called Elevator Madness, too. And there's Easter Eggs a go go. Easter Eggs a go go. Anyway, there's a new clue. Uh, you know what? We don't have time. This has got to get crated and it has to go out today. So I think we're done playing for now. Let me turn the line down just a little bit. There we go. Uh, boys, this can be uh, this can be packed up. Let me get my coffee. My coffee. Somebody took my coffee. Let me see if I can figure out who. Who's done it? Did you take my coffee? I did not take the coffee. <sighs> did you take my coffee? No. <sighs> Can't you talk about the snoring? You didn't know it. Did you take my coffee? Uh -uh. Did you take my coffee? Who done it? <laughs> Who done it? Jonathan! <laughs> Did you take my coffee? Nope. I guess we're never going to figure this one out. Who took my coffee, cops? Who done it? <laughs> Thank you.
Good night. Are you still here?